Man, what a pretty day out there. Very pretty day. Finishing up uh, Tuesday, and uh, it's been a busy week so far. Done a lot of technical work this week, work, work for clients, and met with some clients, met with potential clients. And uh, really, I feel like I need a weekend from the weekend. Um, I had an anniversary Monday night, <clears throat> 19th year anniversary. 20 will be the big one next year, hopefully. And um, <laughs> barring anything <laughs> crazy happening. And, uh, and then my son, Jordan, we had a, uh, a uh, graduation party for him this weekend. Had a wedding for somebody that worked with me, Mallory. She's off on a honeymoon right now. And then had his graduation last night. And we were very lucky. He was the valedictorian of his class. Jordan McIntyre, my, my oldest son, my oldest child. So he's one of six that is graduating and getting out of the house, so to speak. At least at the end of the summer, he's going to be ten, attending UNC Chapel Hills Honors College at the end of the summer. And we're very, we're very happy for him. Um, but when big things happen, man, I feel like, I feel like I've had the wind knocked out of me. This just, just from the, everything that's happened this weekend. You know, Mother's Day was maybe the weekend before that, and then had uh, a couple of birthdays for for children over the last couple of weeks too. Just a lot, a lot of things happening, and just made me think about you know just big events and planning for them, and you know going to college is a huge event. My that that I I did some planning for, but uh, but you know it's always. Uh, it's a that's a big event. It's a big money event. I mean, it, you know, it takes a lot of money. It takes uh, a lot of planning, and uh, and you know your, your your baby's going off to school. My my oldest son, you know my my buddy's going off to school. My basketball buddy. So uh, um, you know that's that's going to be a big blow for us as well. Uh, you know, just emotionally, you know, him getting out of the house, and. You know, it's it's nice to to plan. I work with people on planning all the time. Um, that's what I do uh, for estate planning and elder law to plan your wills, to plan your estates. Um, I'll tell you, we were very fortunate. Jordan's a smart kid. He um, he works. He's also has a really really big work or you know big work ethic. I don't know if your work ethic can be big. A great work ethic. Okay, huge work ethic. And uh, so, so he ended up being the valedictorian of his graduating class, and he worked very hard to do that. Um, and he gave a, a pretty funny and good, uh, you know, he did well with his uh, speech for valedictorian, thanking the rest of his classmates, talking about the journey, things that happened along the way. And I had suggested that we use, that he use a poem, Ithaca. That is a poem. We used to have poetry nights on Sunday night. Um, that's something I started a long time ago. I mean, a decade ago or more. And we would sit down on Sunday night, the whole family, and we would bring our favorite poem. We would either read it or have it on a computer with a speaker or something that would read it for us that we'd find, you know, somebody famous that would read it. And we would read poetry, our favorite poem, or we would, and, and, and usually a part of that was trying to bring to the table a poem that you had written or something that you had written as well. And I always liked the poem Ithaca. A friend of mine turned me on to that poem a long time ago um, when I was so focused on the destination and had my eye off the ball, so to speak, off the real ball, which is the, or the real, real importance, which is the journey which is everything that happens along the way. Ithaca is a really, really good poem. I would recommend you go out and read it. Um, he read that as part of his uh, speech. And then in the end, being the kid he is, and a kid um, followed it up with a quote from Tupac <laughs> about having fun and going around the board as many times as you can before you die. So. Ithaca is by C.P. 
Kavafi or Kavafi. And it's about Homer's great hero, Odysseus, and his journey to Ithaca. And how Odysseus, I mean, Odysseus, you know, he just wanted to get there. He thought it was this rich place. And that's where he was going. He was excited to go, excited to get there. Much like many of us, when we set off on a journey and we set a goal, whether it be to make a certain amount of money, to grow a business, to have a, a family, um, you know, to graduate from high school, which is what my oldest son just did, uh, what, our, what our son just did. And, you know, that's a goal. But it's just checkpoints along the way. You're never to the end of the journey. I don't believe you're to the end of the journey when you're at the end of your life. I think it's just a checkpoint along the way. And that there's still, you know, a boundless, you know, endless adventure out there in some in one way or the other. So I'll read Ithaca. I, I really like this point. So maybe I'll start reading some poetry on some of our um, some of our videos and uh, poems that uh, I think poetry is a really cool thing, you know, just the use of words, period. So in the right way. So Ithaca, as you set out for Ithaca, hope your road is a long one, full of adventure, full of discovery. Lystragonians, Cyclops, angry Poseidon, don't be afraid of them. You will never find things like that on your way. As long as you keep your thoughts raised high, as long as a rare excitement stirs your spirit and your body. Lystragonians, Cyclops, Wild Poseidon. You won't encounter them unless you bring them along inside your soul, unless your soul sets them up in front of you. Hope your road is a long one. May there be many summer mornings when with what pleasure, what joy, you enter harbors you're seeing for the first time. May you stop at Phoenician trading stations to buy fine things, mother of pearl and coral, amber and ebony, sensual perfumes of every kind, as many sensual perfumes as you can. And may you visit many Egyptian cities to learn and go on learning from their scholars. Keep Ithaca always in your mind. Arriving there is what you're destined for. But don't hurry the journey at all. Better if it lasts for years. So you're old by the time you reach the island. Wealthy with all you've gained along the way. Not expecting Ithaca to make you rich. Ithaca gave you the mar marvelous journey. Without her, you wouldn't have set out. She has nothing left to give you now. And if you find her poor, Ithaca won't have fooled you. Wise as you will have become, so full of experience. You'll have, un you'll have understood by then what these Ithacas mean. So you'll start to understand that the goal that you're setting up in front of yourself is not the real meaning at all. It's the experience along the way that you gain in obtaining that goal. And sometimes when you set off for Ithaca, so to speak, you wind up somewhere else. You wind up in a totally different part of the world or, you know, totally different career path. But if you hadn't set off at the beginning, you would never have gotten there. And, it, and what makes you rich is the experience along the way. So I always love that poem. And it's kind of a stop and smell the roses type poem that I can get personally so frustrated with not moving along as fast as I want to in life, in a career, you know, and whatever it is. And I want to, I want to hurry up. But I think that <clears throat> the writer of Ithaca, C.P. Kavafi, sounds like Kafifi, the Kafifi thing. C.P. Kavafi or Kavafi would say that it's better if you take your time, if you learn, if you, you're patient, 
if you enjoy the relationships you develop along the way in life, that's where the real riches are. If you learn from scholars, um, I do a lot of planning in my business and in my life for others. I help seniors protect their assets and legacies at McIntyre Elder Law. And I was thinking, you know, how might my big life experiences equate to some others' experiences? And I imagine that we all go through similar experiences along the way. I mean, how many of my clients have had children graduate from high school, graduate from college? How many of my clients have had grandchildren graduate from high school, graduate from college? Pro probably a lot of them. But where I can come in and help is I can help put in place protective measures to help you save a house that can go to pay for a child, a grandchild's college tuition so that they can learn from the scholars, so to speak. And they can become rich in experience. I can help you set in place general durable powers of attorney that can help you have someone else be able to act as you and sign things as you if any kind of planning needs to be done in an emergency or else things are, you know, you're locked out. The family's locked out of certain accounts, certain benefits that could be activated. That's very important. Um, I can help you take care of the people that you work so hard to raise and that you have so many experiences with and that you love so much. So I hope that my son goes off and starts a family one of these days, that he gets experience, that he's a good person. And I plan to do whatever I can to help not to the point of where I spoil him or his family, but to the point where um, I can be a resource in a number of ways. Even someone, hopefully, that he looks toward for advice from time to time. So I'm Greg McIntyre, McIntyre Elder Law. Just had my first child, one of six, graduate from high school. And I imagine I'll keep you updated throughout the years. But if I can help you, Plan for the big events in your life, I'd be glad to do so. Um, putting in place foundational work, general durable power of attorney, healthcare power of attorney, living wills and wills. Putting in place trust that can help a child or grandchild go to college and inspire them to go to college. Setting aside money for that trust to fund. And then afterwards, giving it to them in increments over the years so they don't get cursed with a large amount of money at one time which could be detrimental if they haven't developed the ability to handle that type of responsibility and gotten a little experience under their belt. So I'm not sure where your Ithaca is or where you're going, but I can hopefully plan, help you plan to save some of your hard-earned money and property to help the, the loved ones that you've created literally and made and helped along the way. So give us a call if you ever need any help, 704-259-7040, or go on our website. That's an easy place to go, mcelderlaw.com, and look at one of our main three branches of practice, Medicaid crisis planning, veterans aid and attendance pension benefits, or estate planning. A great place to go is mcelderlaw.com slash estate planning. And I'll educate you a little bit on estate planning. And, uh, and you can pre-qualify and see if there's something that you need. So I'm signing off. I'm going to go home, see how I can be of service to my family this evening. Um, I hope you have a great evening too.